is John Galt. This question is the first sentence of Ayn Rand's famous novel, Atlas Shrugged. This book, published on October 10, 1957, was one of my gateways to the moral philosophy of liberty. But it's different things to different people. A romance novel, a whodunit mystery, a dystopian tale, and a science fiction drama. It's also just a lot of fun, a book that's hard to put down once you've picked it up. After all these years, I still find the core lessons of Atlas Shrugged an, an essential and vital guide to human flourishing and peaceful cooperation. It's ultimately a tale about your right to determine your own path in life, to struggle, to work, to create, to be different from the rest, to fail and pick yourself up, and to join with other people in common purpose, to help each other, not because someone demanded it of you, but because you have freely chosen to take that responsibility to act. There's a lot of talk today about the need for economic dignity. There is, to me, only one path to dignity and purpose in life. You have to earn it yourself. It's not free. No one can give it to you. No empty promise from a politician can ever give your life meaning for you. But this is what makes life awesome. The pursuit of happiness and the struggle to do something disruptive. Something that might just make the world a better place. There's a passage in Atlas where two of the main characters, Dagny Taggart and Hank Reardon, discover a radically disruptive engine, an engine designed by, yes, John Galt. They marvel at the potential of this lost invention to better humanity. Don't you understand what this means? Dagny asks Hank. It's the greatest revolution in power motors since the internal combustion engine. Greater than that, it wipes out everything and makes everything possible. Do you see what I see? Do you know what that motor would have meant if built? Hank responds. I'd say about 10 years added to the life of every person in this country. If you consider how many things it would have made easier and cheaper to produce, how many man hours of human labor it would have released for other work, and how much more anyone's work would have brought him. You see, there's a purpose to the Atlas journey. Imagine that conversation actually happening tomorrow, somewhere, anywhere. Atlas Shrugged has sold over 7 million copies so far, and it is said that Ayn Rand's magnum opus is the second most influential book in history, right behind the Bible. I don't know about all that, but I do know one thing that I learned first reading Atlas Shrugged. Freedom isn't free. It's a burden and a responsibility each of us carries. And it's also where the best things in life come from. Who is John Galt? You are.